All right, let's talk about a big lawsuit that is in the works right now. Seattle's public school district is suing Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, Ooh. and their parent companies, alleging that the social media sites have been a primary factor in, quote, youth mental health crisis. Now, the lawsuit also claims the platform have, have the platforms have knowingly exploited, manipulated, and targeted young people for profit at the expense of their mental health. The distraction is arguing, oh sorry, the district is arguing that, that the uh, tech giants intentionally created the addicting platforms to cash in on the vulnerability of developing brains. District officials point to a 30% increase in self-reported feelings of sadness and hopelessness among the student body as well as a rise in student suicide plans and mm -hmm. attempts between 2010 and 2018. Now, it's very difficult to establish this link between increased social media use and worsening of the mental health of kids because there are so many variables involved with mental health. So we'll have to see how this whole lawsuit plays out. But uh, there was a 60 Minutes investigation a few weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, where it was talking about the difference in TikTok in China and the difference in TikTok here. Yeah. And when you talk about mental warfare, which is something that has been on, on my radar for a long time when it just comes to self-preservation, you have to be careful of what you allow in your own sphere of yeah. thought. And so when it comes to the kids and a developing brain, it's tough when they have all of those things that are coming at them all the time and the algorithm is built to make them keep watching. And so I, there's something there, but I don't know if a lawsuit is the way to express it. And they are not sure, you know, what will be the result of the lawsuit, the school district in Seattle, but they said we had to do something. Mm -hmm. And the uh, study that they released of their children in their district who reported every single day, like they asked them every day, how do you feel today? Mm -hmm. And an overwhelming increase in students who for more than two weeks said, I feel sad today yeah. about myself. Wow. Man, when you hear that coming from kids, yeah. something you have to listen to. And then just as parents, as adults, how many of us during the pandemic said, what we loved about TikTok. Oh my, I'm just scrolling and I yeah. thought it was there for 10 minutes yeah. and it was an hour. And there was something yeah. about that in the pandemic that was, you know, fun. And it was. But now, knowing what we know and how that might not be the accident mm -hmm. that we think it is, you know, maybe we do need to take another look. And how many of those ads pop up and you buy something on TikTok? I wasn't doing that during the pandemic, but now there's so many more ads. I'm like, wait, well, I need that. <laughs> they got anyway, you. That's what it's for. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this a lot more yeah. as time goes on.